I tried something today that I've thought of doing a long time, sharpening my fret cutters with the cutters clamped wide open in a vise on my mill. You could do this on a drill press with one of the many inexpensive compound table milling vices that's available. I used a flying saucer shaped diamond stone with an eighth inch shaft. I don't know how long they'll stay sharp, but it sure looks good. Sometimes I cut with the jaws parallel to the fretboard like this, and sometimes with them vertical, using a double cut, first the crown and then the tank. Here's the cross cut, and this is the vertical cut in two parts. All these frets have had their tangs shortened because this has a round laminate fretboard with shallow fret slots, but they still take some force to cut. This is a piece of maple that's tapered like a fretboard. It has a seven and a half inch radius and slots in it that sit over the frets on a 25 and a half inch fretboard. I use it to glue fretboards on that have been already fretted, but that's not its only use. It has a truss rod and can bend it into an up bow or back bow. I'm using it here on the unslotted portions of the bottom to sit on the frets and clamp them tight to the edges. This lessens any chance that the fret ends will twist or loosen when I cut them. It may seem like overkill to some, but it's the way I do it. Thanks for watching, and keep on fretting.